Hey there, Tracy, paying it forward to you in the form of a discussion on meditation. Um, many times people's biggest gripe about meditation is the having to sit still. Um, maybe they're just not good at it, uh, the monkey mind, or it could be actual pain <laughs> of sitting. And um, again, there's not just one way to meditate. So um, I'm not going to go through all the ways, but one way I am going to cover that I really, really do like is uh, a walking meditation that I was introduced to in the book by, oh, yeah, a little backwards, um, Wherever You Go, There You Are by John uh, Kabat-Zinn. And uh, this is an awesome book for anyone who wants to start meditating and find out all the different ways that there are um, that you may not have ever thought of. And um, a lot of them are very, very simple and um, you can do them anywhere. And that's why I wanted to talk about the walking meditation today. So yeah, sometimes you don't want to just sit still again, especially if you spent all day uh, in a cubicle or in your office sitting or at a laptop <laughs> and uh, you want to be out and about. So um, this was a formal uh, way of meditating too on the monasteries after, you know, sitting for hours out, they'd go out into the gardens. And um, so that's something you can do, whether it's your backyard or a park, a field, um, you know, beach, if you're so lucky, a walking path, um, you know, just something open space where you're not going to be um, having to deal with a lot of people. So, you know, Grand Central Station would not be a good one, Times Square, not good alternatives. Uh, but so, just somewhere you can be out and about and walk without having to worry about traffic or people, okay? And the idea, again, isn't about getting somewhere. It's about breathing and being mindful. And what they're doing with the walking meditation is you're actually bringing your awareness to when you're walking, you know, the heel toe, feeling like where it touches on your foot each time you're walking, you know, just feeling that, just putting all of your, you know, concentration on that, how it's hitting, you know, and feeling where it's hitting. And when you start to do that, you'll start to also feel your breath starts to kind of slow down. And another thing you can do then is just see without controlling it yourself, but seeing how many, how many steps can you take on an inhale? How many on an outhale? You know, again, feeling the foot, staying with the breath, you know, is it two and two, two in, you know, two steps for an inhale, two steps for an exhale. You can change it up a bit, see if you can make it longer, how many you can fit in there. All of a sudden, you're not thinking about all of the stuff from work or what you have to do at home or any of the other chaos, right? Because right now you are practicing just being in a present moment awareness, literally taking one step at a time consciously and fully present with it, okay? So you can change it up. You can change up your pace, you know, um, get really, really you know, slow with it. Um, I don't know about getting too fast with it, but um, if that's going to be so calming, but, you know, just seeing those differences in there. Um, one of the other uh, mentors or teachers or senseis, a, a Vietnamese monk by the name of, I'm going to try not to slaughter it, Nick Thang Han, <laughs> thank you. Um, he speaks about this too, uh, doing the walking meditation. He uh, I, I heard him speaking about it, him doing it with um, the children at Plum Village in France. And so he would take the kids out on walks and he would have them, you know, for every two steps saying, we, we, merci, merci, um, you know, just saying, yes, yes, thank you, thank you for each step while they're walking. And the yes, if you think about it, kids get told no so much, so, so many times, right, in a day. And, um, you know, us adults too, uh, we don't always get to hear, you know, yes for the things we want. So it's just saying yes, yes to life. Yes, just yes, 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 you know. And um, that's such a, a nicer, lighter feeling than being told no. Okay, so saying yes, yes, you know, when their feet hit the ground, you know. And then the merci, merci, the thank you, thank you. Of saying thank you to earth every time your foot's touching the ground of just really sending out that gratitude to Mother Earth for 
you know, just being there always, right? The air we have to breathe, the beautiful trees around, the, the earth from which, you know, all of our food grows. And so then you get into that, you know, where you're just saying yes to life and you're saying thank you and being grateful for just what is. So, um, and if you want to change it up again, that doesn't really float your boat. Uh, use mantras. You know, I've done where I'm saying, Om, Om, Shanti, Shanti, you know, or something else, or just saying a whole mantra that, uh, you know, one that I like, um, Om Namah Shivaya, while I'm walking, like just kind of using each syllable, Om Namah Shivaya, and just breathing with it. So the whole point of it, again, just like with regular meditation of sitting, I guess you would say, um, is that... You're just bringing present moment awareness, right? You're bringing your breath and taking your mind off of all that other stuff, just being right here now and accepting each step as it comes literally and uh, watching your step without looking at your feet and just um, saying yes and thank you to it. So that's my share for today, okay? Do with it as you will, um, experiment with it. I've even done it when it is those like heinous times. I know I said do it where there's not a crowd or something, but I've been where I'm at the grocery store, whether it's, you know, just uh, for food shopping, Target or uh, Costco on the weekend. Oh my God. And, you know, you're really not going anywhere and you got the cart there. And it's just like, you know what? I'm just going to breathe. And sometimes I'll see how many breaths I take for just one step, you know, and um, just brings me down just brings me down and just smile, you know, just smiling at watching everybody leave their cart in the middle while they go grab a, a you know, a, a little sample of something, right? So again, just saying yes, yes, and thank you, thank you to life and all that it shows us and has to teach us. So there you go again. Sorry for that. If you like any of these things, please show the likes with the and um, if you don't, go ahead and share why you don't like it, or if there's something else you'd rather hear about or you want to hear in addition to, I'm totally open to suggestions because I'm here for you to pay it forward, okay? So let me know what you like, and um, please do subscribe as well uh, to catch the next thing if you'd like, and uh, check out my Instagram page and uh, Facebook as well, and everywhere else that I may be all at once. Okay, you guys take care because wherever you are, wherever you go, there you are, right? And even if I'm not there, I'm still here. <laughs> you guys take care. Ciao.